All right. This one's gonna be hard for me to get the whole thing into the frame here. It's so big. Now this one is a great big museum cluster that is in outstanding condition. I am talking, it is incredible how good a shape this piece is in. Usually these big clusters like this will have multiple broken points, points missing from the base, big chips, all kinds of negative stuff about them. But this big guy survived mining and everything without getting any big flaws on it at all. There's probably just a couple teeny tiny little chips on it. The only real detraction that I could find on this one is that this point right here has some rehealing on it. Let's see if I can... This point right here in the tip has got some rehealing on him. But that's natural. And uh, let me tell you something. You take a look at big clusters like this, you see listed online for thousands of dollars. And I promise you, you, you look at them close and you're going to see a lot of points missing from the base and a lot of chips. This is a very, very high-end piece. Very, very high dollar, too, boy. This one, I could see this one approaching two grand in a retail shop because of its condition and because of how thin this base is. It's got this transparent base. Just look at how thin this base is. It doesn't have a big chunk of matrix on it or... You know, there's no big chunk of a white quartz or sandstone on the bottom of this. It's just all nice terminated crystal. And it is a gorgeous piece. I will tell you that when you handle this one, it might be a good idea to wear a pair of gloves because the bottom of this is very sharp. Look at all those little dimples in my hand from holding on to this one. Maybe set a towel underneath it or something when you pick it up to handle it. If you don't have these real tough hands that I have from handling these all the time, it might cut you when you try to pick it up. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm, I'm telling you, folks, pieces like this do not come up for auction very often. Um, you know, when a retailer was is to buy one of these, they'd have to pay such a high price that there's no way they could risk putting a piece like this up on auction. Man, that is a big guy. Very impressive. 